This is Brent with Big Dog Hobbies. Today we're going to go over RC helicopter and plane transmitters and the differences between some of the different types and styles of transmitters. What we have before us right here are both two digital transmitters and two analog transmitters. The difference between digital and analog is the signal in which they send. These two over here send a digital signal, which means it's a lot like I explained it to people in the store, a Bluetooth. You can take your Bluetooth that you have in your ear and sync it to any phone. What it does is it sends out a digital signal. The, the helicopter that you actually are syncing to will then read the signal and it will send it back and they will sync. Now, on an analog, on an analog transmitter, what you have here is a chip. And this chip is in the back. For example, this one says channel 36, which is set on a, a frequency of 72.510. So, in order for me to fly a plane that this, was, that this would go with, my plane must have this, a, a corresponding chip in it so that I can fly it on the receiver. If it has a different chip in there, then I would have to pop this out and put another one in. The advantages of a digital are pretty obvious. That all I have to do is point, sync, point and click, and it syncs with the receiver if I have the right, and that's very important, I have to have the right type of receiver. So for example here I'm working with some spectrum uh, transmitters, which means that if they have a spectrum receiver in the plane or helicopter, I can sync and I can fly. Now the other thing that is important about these transmitters is that you'll notice that they say that they're either five channel, this is a four channel, some of them say six channel, that tells you how many different aspects of a plane or helicopter they can control. Some helicopters require only four channels, some helicopters require up to eight or ten channels. So it's important when you're purchasing your helicopter or plane that you know how many channels that that plane or helicopter needs for you to operate it. These uh, two digital transmitters that we have here uh, which are the two spectrums, the 5XE and the, this is sort of the basic uh, three-channel transmitter that they send with the little small helicopters that they sell or some of the small planes. Um, the size does not make a difference with respect to how they sync, but it does make a difference in how strong the signal. So the larger transmitters and some of the, especially 5, 6, and 8, and 10 channel transmitters can emit a signal much further than the uh, three or four channel transmitters. Both of the digital transmitters will have a better signal than any of the analog. We find fewer and fewer people wanting to purchase analog simply because it does, it's not as easy to use. It, you have to manage all these little chips or crystals. It's not as strong and when you go to the fly field you have to make sure that somebody else isn't on channel 36 too because if you do you'll put their plane or helicopter into the ground and the, not the best way to make friends is to crash your buddy's plane or helicopter. So, that is, that is the tutorial, the basic tutorial on transmitters. We encourage you to come back and check out some of our other videos uh, where we talk about things about like how to fix transmitters and how to upgrade transmitters.